guys, Cindy here. Um, I just wanted to show you a quick little thing that I've been doing and I think they turn out really cute. Um, when I do use my die cuts to get die cut stuff out, I don't throw this stuff away. I know some people think I'm crazy, but I don't. And I'll show you why. What I usually end up doing is getting out my really small punches and I will punch a bunch of different things out, whether it be circles, snowflakes, um, hearts, little mason jar things. Okay, these are all made out of this type of a scrap. And then I do my tiny ones. I've got little crowns here, little birds, um, some different leaves, a bunch of squares, circles, that kind of thing, right? So this is what I normally do with them. Well, I was sitting, um, actually out on the couch last night and I was looking through my little tin of all the itty bitty things and I had a ton of these and they just come off a punch um, right here this is the punch I don't know if you can see it see it it's just a little branch of like leaves I'll show it better there and I was thinking what am I gonna do with all these so what I did is I sat down I'm gonna move this aside for a minute and here's all the little leaves that I had. So I decided I was gonna make something out of them. And I ended up making these little flowers. Um, I think they turned out kind of cool. They're just tiny flowers and they're all made out of these little branch things. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did them. I, you know, I mixed and matched them. I didn't do everything you know, exactly the same color. It doesn't really matter, right? No flowers in nature are perfect, and these are not either. So I'm gonna show you real quick how I did these. Very simple, um, nothing you know, really crazy about it. I have a little punch that does little holes, and then I have this other punch here um, that does these, these holes, right? Or the circles, I should say, not holes. So what I ended up doing is I just took one of these, I turned it over, no big deal, and I have some glue dots here. So I just took a glue dot, if I can get it open. I took a glue dot and I put it kind of in the middle of that circle. Now these glue dots are old, so um, it takes me a minute to get them off this plastic. You guys can hear my little puppy walking around. She's getting up in her bed and laying down. All right, so let me get these off without messing up the circle. Like I said, these are old, so it's even it's harder to get them off this plastic. Come on. I know I can do it. No, it's still sticking. All right, here we go. So I'm going to pull this plastic backing off, and it leaves the glue dot there. All right. Let me just bring you guys in. Hold on. Alright, so I just put the glue dot on the back of this and then I just sat here with these and I started taking just the little tiny bottom of these and I just stuck them onto the glue dot. Not, you know, like I said, nothing crazy, nothing um, fancy. And I just keep sticking them around on the glue dot. So simple, but I think they turned out so cute. Uh, let me just throw this one in here. And as you can see, I'm still working with the glue dot. The glue dot's right here. So it looks kind of funny when they're like this. But let's finish it up. Let's throw a couple more in there. Um, some of them, it's hard for me to pick up with these fingernails. I need to get them cut. They're getting a little bit too long again. And I'm just, I'm attaching the little tiny bottom of that branch onto the glue dot. So it's not a whole lot holding these on, but we're going to keep them together and I'll show you how. I'm going to just put one more in here. All right. So that's kind of what they look like. Um, and then what I do is I just take one of these tiny dots, or I should say circles, that I have cut out, again with a punch. I don't have the punch here on the desk. But this one, um, I'm just taking little, another thing of glue dots, I'm just putting a few on the circle and then just putting these in the middle. How simple is that? Right? So this is one thing that I've been doing with them. Now another thing I've done is I have a lot of these different um, maple leaves. 
punched out. Uh, a friend of mine loaned me a couple. These are two of the maple leaves. I think that's an oak, but this is a maple tree leaf. And then I have these, right? So I'm thinking, why can't I do the same with these? So this I haven't tried. I'm going to try this one and see what happens. We're going to have to fight with another glue dot here. Like I said, these are old glue dots. I want to get them used up anyways. So hardest part is getting them off the plastic. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put a dot here. Get the plastic off, which may take a second because it likes to stick to the plastic. There we go. Right there, it'll come off. Along with some of the glue dot. I suggest if you're doing this, use newer glue dots. <laughs> I just, I'm using up what I have in my studio this year. I'm not buying anything. Um, unless it's something I have to replace. So I'm using up all kinds of stuff. This one's not coming off. Bear with me. Come on, stay here. Like I said, I'm just trying to use stuff up. So that's why I'm having the issue with these. If you just have normal glue dots, you shouldn't have any problems as long as they're not really old. Half of it's off, half of it's on. So you know what? I'm going to set this one aside because if not, I'm going to get really mad at it. So let's try another one. Now these um, are all different papers. Like I said, I just use the scraps of whatever I've been using for my dyes. I really don't think it matters. Um, like I said, there's nothing in nature that's perfect. So, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's a a brown hole or a blue one or you know it doesn't matter what the color of the leaves are um, it's just a way for me to use my tiny punches and to not waste paper but to actually get something out of the the um, the waste from the die cuts okay this one's a little bit better all right so that one's on so let's see what happens with these. These, like I said, these are little maple leaves and I'm gonna to try to go with the same type of um, process here. I'm just gonna put the little, the little stems on this glue dot. I don't have a whole lot of these because I haven't punched a ton of them yet. So I'm gonna throw in some green. I know there's normally not green flowers, but that's all right, there is now. I just want to see what this looks like. I haven't done this one, so like I said, it's it's this one's going to be different. But hey, why not? There's a brown leaf. I'll throw that in there. Brown leaf, I should say. Another leaf. Let's move this one over here a little bit. All right, so I threw some leaves on there. Now let's grab a another little circle here. It's a black one. Let's use the black one. And again, these are old um, rolls of blue dots that I have. I just throw three of them on the back of this so that they stick. How cute is that? <laughs> I like it. I really like it. So just a real quick video to show you that when you have, you know, your odds and ends um, like this, and if you have some small punches, just punch them out because you can always use this stuff for something else. It doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter that it's a circle. You don't have to use it as a circle. I still have some glue from that last dot. But yeah, um, I thought these were really cute and I really like these. So I'm going to be making some more of those. So I'm going to punch some of those out and I'm going to keep making flowers. But um, again, just to show you really quick, these are the ones that I did with this little branch. And I think they're really cute. I think um, some of them come out, they're all different um, depending on how you lay the, the things onto the glue dots. But I thought they were kind of cool and now I'm really excited to make some more of these. Alright, I hope you guys have enjoyed um, just something real quick little. 
that I thought I'd show you that I'm doing. And uh, yeah, let me see what you do with your punches. Do you do anything special with them? Do you use up your scraps? If you do, how do you use your scraps? I'd be really interested in hearing on how you do that. All right, guys, have a great day. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.